What's going on YouTube? In this video, we continued doing Amazon while OTR in Chicago, but not only did we do Amazon in Chicago, we also took a load from Chicago to St. Louis, but go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. things that I couldn't have I've done a lot of things that I shouldn't have yeah yeah but I live with no regrets cuz I wouldn't so what's going on YouTube so um I end up staying at this hotel motel, motel 6 for two nights um, because I just did a, a local Amazon run but uh let me show y'all something remember that fence I hit yesterday they didn't fix it up real quick look like it's brand new okay okay you know, it didn't cost me but $50 out of my pocket. I should have told him I could have did that myself. You know, I was taking a nap. I heard them doing the banging and, you know, putting a new fence in. So, but well, they did a pretty decent job. Um, I got to start hitting things, y'all. Man, man y'all try to maneuver around this parking lot, man. With a box truck, 26 feet. Look, when I first bought that box truck, it was um, a little bigger than I thought it was. You know, it, it, it's bigger than you thought. Like, oh yeah, you know, I drove a moving truck before. This thing is huge. I mean, it ain't no semi. I mean, trailer. But I'm just saying, you know, it's still you still got maneuver around places too. But anyway, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Keep y'all posted. Got an Amazon, another Amazon run tonight, so uh, we getting it, y'all. Back on Amazon, baby. All right, YouTube. Well, we loaded up 12, actually 13 pallets, or really 14. There's a whole bunch of bags, 28 items all together. I think it was 12 pallets and then it said 28 bags. So, well, we're going to keep it moving. Let's get it going. All right, YouTube. Let's get these pallets off. Got to freaking figure out all these freaking bags, they call it. Which one's coming here and which one's going to the, to the second drop. But uh, we'll drop the pallets over there. Got a little left gate right here, and we're gonna get it going. We have what they call four bags right here. We're just gonna throw them on this last pallet right here. That's it. Alright, you have a good day. So, I'm at uh, my third Amazon facility in Chicago, around the Chicago area. You know, all the different facilities. All I had to get temporary badges, figure that out. This time I stopped by the visitors first then wrapped around but it's not a lot of trucks here probably because i'm super early i'm picking up at you know 8 15 but the sucky part is trying to figure out what goddamn door to go through that's what sucks so i'm walking through the whole yard i don't know if i was paying attention if there was a check-in door up there up here hopefully it is but uh we're gonna get loaded up y'all and we're gonna take this load to st louis missouri i'll keep y'all posted what's going on y'all so apparently you know I'm at the Amazon facility a whole hour early um, because the scheduled on my email and my trip summary says I'm supposed to be here at 8.15. I mean, I went up there, tried to swipe my badge and the door went open. So I called the guy inside the gate over and he said his badge not working either. I'm guessing that's just the driver check-in. 
But he said, my load anyway is supposed to be picked up for a whole nother hour. So, you know, I'm like, well, on the email and the app, it says different. So, you know, but either way, I mean, I'm just going to report my delays and um, let them know. I already been emailed, you know, um, message uh, the support. I mean, because I don't want this to be on me. Like, you know, I'd be late for an Amazon schedule error. But, I mean, that's just what it kind of goes with Amazon. I'm going to tell you all, Amazon is, you know, it's, it's a game. And you got to learn how to play this thing. And uh, if you want to stay on Amazon and actually make good money, you better learn how to master it. Because there's not a shortage of people trying to get on and um, and move their loads. So, um, so, yeah, just get in here and learn the ropes, you know. And, you know, and that's all you got to do. But as I'm still learning right now, this is actually my... This would be my fourth Amazon load, so I'm still learning the ropes. I mean, I'm still a rookie at this myself, and you know, scheduling errors it happens even when you OTR. So you know, but anyway, this load I'm taking it from Chicago to St. Louis. Um, uh, I might, might try to get another load in St. Louis. I mean, I did see some of the load board, so we'll see what happens. Maybe I can do two loads in one night. I mean, it's like 200 and maybe 60 miles from Chicago to St. Louis, so you know, um, shouldn't take me. But maybe four hours to get there. You know, maybe four and a half, something like that. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'll keep y'all posted how the night goes. So, I mean, the yard dog, this robot flashes his flashlight at me and was like, go to the driver's lounge. And there's somebody waiting for me. So I went in the driver's lounge. It's a whole different process than delivering from post office. I mean, they kind of just loaded me. Well, I mean, they just brought the pallets right there in front of me, loaded them up. You know, when I had to scan nothing, it's uh, I think, uh, I think five Gaylords in one pallet. I think Gaylords just these boxes with a whole bunch of little small packages in it. But anyway, <clears throat> so different process, so different. Even the facility is different. How you, you use the dock plate and all that other stuff. But um, pretty smooth though. In and out in like 15 minutes max. So I'm about to head to St. Louis, y'all. Keep y'all posted. First I love her, then I don't Pour another cut away, or we do smoke Pulling up with a six, so we passing out All my boys smoke, hey, yeah, we taking drugs So, this is different So, I just pulled up to this, I guess It's not a, a Amazon exclusive facility I mean, it's FedEx at the front I mean, Amazon just renting a few, you know, I guess, doors down Probably, I don't know, probably like 15 doors of this huge little warehouse FedEx is at the front. You know, they got the Amazon got their own space, but um, Pull up much easier process than actually, you know, going to those big fulfillment centers or distribution centers I Pull up, you know, it's three guys in the office, you know um, I tell them my number and they said cool back up to door six. We're gonna cut the seal for you and um, they Actually put a seal on there. I'm guessing just because I didn't have to scan anything in so they put a seal on there and um, dude watched me load up my truck and um, drop it straight here. He cut the seal and backing up and they said they unloaded me, which is different. I thought, you know, they couldn't come on the trucks, you know, but uh, they said, yeah, they unload you and they'll call you when they're done. It's kind of like OTR. That's kind of how OTR is. It's OTR vibes, not the Amazon vibes. But, uh, well, I mean, it's just different, you know, versus picking up and going, you know, dropping off at the post offices and whatnot. Um, I was looking at another Amazon run that was actually leaving from this same facility, but you know, I don't know um, if it's uh, gonna pop back up on the board. I think it popped off the load board. I kind of lunched on that one. I um, was waiting for the price to go up, but I'm gonna be watching the load board, see what else pops up in the St. Louis area. It's only, um, uh, what is it, one o'clock in the morning here? You know, I'm, I think it's one, maybe 1 30 in the morning. Eastern and Central times be throwing me off. Yeah, it's one. It's one o'clock in the morning. One, one about one thirty. 
going on 1:30. But yeah, it shouldn't take them long. Un low, should not take them long to unload these. Uh, you know, one pallet and you know, and it's like six. You know, boxes, day lords they call it. I think. You know, filled with little small packages. So um, and then my grandmother stays about 30 minutes north of here. So guess who's not gonna be paying for a hotel room tonight? This guy. I just gotta wake my grandmother up. Um, <laughs> And her walk to the door. But uh but yeah, I'll keep y'all posted if I do another Amazon load tonight. Anyway y'all, this is a Amazon little facility that's kind of partnered with some other major chains like FedEx. Super smooth, a lot smoother than going through those big old Amazon fulfillment centers or distribution centers where you gotta get a temporary badge, you know, they check you in, which is always so slow. I mean I just pulled up, walked in the door. Gave my information and I was out. But uh, we're gonna get on out of here, get to my grandmother's house, get some rest. Unless I got another load coming, I just posted a, posted my truck, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. All right, YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers here. So um, while we was in Chicago, we did three loads, but you know, in this video, we're only talking about the two that we actually made money on, <laughs> made a decent profit on. But um, did a picked up a load here out of what is that, Chanahan, Illinois, which is in Chicagoland area, and we took it to Harvey, Illinois, and then out to Plymouth, Indiana. But uh, total rate on that trip was three hundred and sixty dollars and eighty-five cent on a hundred and twenty. 0.2 miles it was for a rate per mile of three dollars um i got this load via poster truck in which i did set it at three dollars um and that was what i was trying to do this was only my third amazon load so i didn't want to set the bar too high and not get picked for a load or get chosen for a load you know i'm still trying to get my performance score up but you know um so we did that second load we ended up doing was for two dollars a mile which Going from one city to another, I thought was pretty good for the rate per mile. Um, it was 270 miles, uh, $565 and 15 cents. So $2 and nine cent a mile, not bad to go from Juliet, Illinois to Berkeley, Missouri, which is pretty much just outside of St. Louis. And this is just outside of Chicago, Illinois. So let's take a look at the actual numbers here. So we got to factor in a little bit of deadhead, of course. So when we took a load from all the way out to Plymouth, Indiana, we actually had to deadhead back to our hotel. So we ended up having 107 miles of deadhead back so the deadhead to the amazon facilities the first night the deadhead to the amazon facility was 9.2 miles and the second night it was 5.5 so we was really close so we got 9.2 5.5 and 107 so our total trip was 121.7 miles of deadhead before we got to our final post office. I mean, final um, destination in St. Louis at KSTL. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add up all our miles. So we got, so we have 121 miles, 0.7 plus 120.2 plus 270. That gives us a total of 511.9 miles total. Our total profit for those two days was 360.85 plus $565.15, which gives us $926. So what we'll do is divide that 926 by 511. 0.9 miles gives us a rate per mile of a dollar eighty for the full for the total trip 
you know, from hotel, running to Amazon, to two post office runs, back to the hotel, to the Amazon facility, to St. Louis. We got $1.80 on that. So our total rate per mile was $1.80, which is pretty good. I mean, um, being OTR. I mean, if we can get above a dollar fifty to two dollars a mile in that in that sweet range, anything two dollars and up is just great. You know, we'll, we'll take that um, all day. You know, to keep the truck moving, making pretty decent money. You know, off the miles. So a um, dollar eighty was the rate per mile. Um, made nine hundred twenty-six dollars total profit in those two nights, which wasn't bad at all. I mean, the first night we did do Amazon. If you want to check that video out right here. We made a little bit of money, not a whole lot of money. <laughs> you know, um, y'all go check that video out. It's pretty much equivalent of us working at a fast food restaurant for the night. But, um, you know, you know that was trial and error. These last two nights doing Amazon, you know, in Chicago was, was a little bit better. So here's the deal. You can do Amazon OTR. I mean, there are opportunities where you can bounce from city to city. If you look at the Amazon low board completely, you'll, you'll see that. And let me show you guys. So we're looking at a load here going from 325 miles, going from Caledonia to Lockburn, Ohio. You know, if you want to get out of Michigan and get down to Ohio, could have took a load like that. We got loads going from Iowa to Kansas, you know, 228 miles. You got What's this? Indiana to Wisconsin. So, I mean, pretty much what I'm trying to say, you can catch loads going from city to city. You know, I know there's usually loads going from Atlanta down to um, Charlotte, Charlotte to Atlanta. Then there's loads going from Atlanta to um, Nashville. Here go, Here's one. Ohio to Pittsburgh. You know, that's 249 miles. So, I mean, you can catch, you can do a little OTR, um, the OTR Amazon, where you're catching them from different Amazon facilities to another Amazon facilities, you know, from city to city, kind of bounce around. So I was just showing you a few ideas. So if you're OTR and you're in a city and you haven't got a load, you know, um, check out the Amazon load board. Maybe you can find a load going from one city to another city to get you to a better area so you can find a good paying load because Amazon is usually around a lot of the major metropolitan cities um so you can always find an amazon load i mean um at least you know keep the wheels turning and make some money that day or that evening and maybe the next day you'll find a better load but anyway guys if you made this far in the video go ahead and like subscribe and stay tuned for future videos everything i used to dream being real right now 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 if it wasn't working i'ma work it out 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 yeah